Dear Archangel Michael, I seek your assistance on my path, my journey. Please help me with every area of my life. Please help me heal and grow. Please help me uncover my soul's potential and to fulfill the purpose I came here to live. I am so very grateful for your help, and I give you permission to intercede in my life. Thank you for always being by my side. And so it is. This is Ivana Voza Morano of Angels and the Divine. Thank you for listening to my prayer. As I found myself taking care of her, you know, I would find myself putting up my hands on her. And she, she said to me, oh, you're doing Reiki. And I'm like, I looked at her and I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? She goes, you're doing Reiki. Now, she knew more about it than I did. And I didn't even know what Reiki was. To me, it was like something that was whatever. I mean, nothing. So she, she goes, yeah, Reiki is, you know, you put your hand. Oh, okay. So I said, is that feel better? Does, you know, and I would massage her legs. She wanted me to massage her legs. She had neuropathy in her feet. Mm. So I massage her feet. So that just went, whatever. So I continued to do whatever I was. She was well enough to go home, you know, to her, her husband and her upstate because she wanted to go home. I need to go home. I need to be with my, my husband. I said, that's fine. And then, of course, she didn't, you know, she, after like about six months, she passed. But once her, at her passing, everything opened, like, um, Everything just came, you know, the, the angels, the angel card reading. I, I just swarmed into that, and I learned everything that I needed to know. And then the Reiki, and the Reiki came, and I learned how to do that as well. I became certified in that as well. And it just it was like a snowball. And I think that she was the one that actually opened that for me. And she probably put everything in front of me so that I can be aware of it and that I can be aware of the fact that maybe I could help someone, you know, doing the healing modality and helping someone do whatever it is that they need. It may not be sickness, but maybe, you know, other physical ailments that they may have, I could help them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do you feel your sister's oh, presence yes. with you? Yes. All the time? Mm -hmm. All the time. And you, um, so I, it's, it's very interesting is that so many people, the, the loss of a loved one really catapulted them into their spiritual life. Do you know, Ivana, it must have been a big deal to stop teaching and go full on into your spiritual life, was it? Um, well, I stopped. I think I needed a break. I didn't have the mind to go back at the time. Yeah. Um, wasn't ready to go back. I actually just started teaching this year, <laughs> starting just part time, just to be around the children and teach them. It's only like two days a week, but I enjoy it because I feel kind of connected. I can do my spiritual work and I can do that as well. So it's kind of all good. <laughs> and how do how do you feel that you have changed? from the person you were, you know, before you started all this work? What has changed in your life? Um, how do, I have, well, let's see how, I think I've become a more authentic person. I don't know if it's authentic or maybe a person that doesn't really worry so much because of course, Reiki, you shouldn't be worrying. I'm more grounded, more open, more sensitive, more loving, more caring, more giving. Um, things that I think that everyone should do, but if I can actually show people that I can do that, then maybe they'll model that. So my goal is to be what I would like someone else to be in order for them to follow in that same thing. So modeling, you know, being true, being honest, showing love and i try to do that all the time i try it's maybe it's not physical but also smiling touch caring you know 
posting, you know, posting is a big thing for me, posting like a, a post every day. Mm -hmm. And I notice when I post, I'm guided and it resonates. And there's a lot of energy that goes into that post and a lot of love. And I know that someone needs to hear it. Mm -hmm. Well, this would probably be a great time to make sure that people know where to find you online. Okay. Yes, yeah, and, and Dan just posted your links, which are angels in the divine yes. uh and you know angel there, there's two right that we have we have angel he, angelic healing readings and right on, on facebook and then the other facebook the link is up it's called angels in the divine and is that vivana is that where you post every day yes. they're so beautiful they're so thoughtful and yeah. inspiring i created during the time of my sister's passing i was grieving so that's what i created to help me get through that grieving process so whatever it is that i wanted to share i shared it on the page and i hoped that whoever needed to get the information or whatever messages that were coming through would help them too Oh yeah, and I know, I know. I mean, how many people are on that Facebook like, page? Almost five thousand. Uh, five thousand. And that wasn't important to me. It wasn't about the number. I know, but that's pretty awesome. I know. That's pretty <laughs> awesome for you, just being you and channeling and and offering this gift every day, y'all. Angels in the Divine is the is Ivana's Facebook page where you can. Wow, you can once a day you can go on over there and be absolutely inspired. Wow. Now you have a number of different um abilities that you are offering to people. Uh and I and I want to talk, talk about all those different modalities and how you are, you know, bringing them out into the world. I'm going to take this moment though for us to do our Alexa. Okay. Our little plug for my angel prayer and Alexa, you have Alexa Sono, yeah. Yes, I had to uh, shut. It off. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I shut it off. Oh, you shut it off. Oh, that's a good. <laughs> it must be going on every two minutes. Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, that many times today she would be what? What? Yeah. Um, so you have, and how do you like having my angel prayer on your Sono? Oh, I do like it. I do like yeah. it when I'm working in my space. And I need it. I need that uplift, or I need that vibration to change the vibration of the room. All I do is I ask, and it shift. There's a certain shift, and everything just okay. I got it. Yeah, that's <laughs> so nice. That's so nice because there's that there's so much intention that comes in that 30 seconds or that 40 seconds from that angel practitioner. And I just want people to know you don't necessarily need to buy an Alexa device. You can get Alexa on your iPhone. You can get it on your uh, Android. And at myangelprayer.com on our website, very, very easy peasy directions, two steps for how to download Alexa and then how to enable my angel prayer. So I really hope that you would. We created this to really help people to give them a God shot and help uplift their day and give them people some, you know, just to help, like Ivana was saying, shift the energy, you know, shift it. So Ivana, back at you, babe, let's talk about all the things you're doing. Let's talk about it. Um, okay. So, um, what do you want to talk about? First? Okay. Let's talk about first. Are you, are you offering your Reiki sessions? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the Reiki sessions, are they people hands-on? Are they long distance? How do you do? Uh, I do both. I do hands-on. I mean, I want to explain. It doesn't necessarily have to be hands-on. It could be hovering over the person. I don't have to be touching them for them to get the benefit of the healing modality. And yes, I do distance as well. And you are offering a very special discount for people who find you today for May 1st. If you are watching and you want to experience an incredible Reiki session, 
from Ivana, she's discounting a lot. It's like instead of $50, it's a $30 session and if you contact her how do we, how are we going to contact you Donna um, they can contact me either on my personal page or on my in my group angels and the divine they can uh, private message me and mm -hmm. they can okay so private message Ivana and let her know that you saw her on the angel thon and that you would like the benefit of a Reiki session now, what happens, I'm curious, do you, what do you feel when you are doing the Reiki? What? Um, okay. When I do Reiki, uh, everyone is different. Everyone experiences something different. And I get a different experience from different people. Yeah. Um, I get very hot. <laughs> I become very warm because the energy is very high. So I can be hovering and either I can get very cold or I can get very hot. Mm -hmm. They can also experience the same thing as well. But sometimes I also feel a presence. There's always a presence with me um, because I ask all of my, um, my, angel, my angels to be present with me, all of the ascended masses to be present with me while I do this um i say can you you know i ask them to be present and then i feel the presence and sometimes i also if the person wants to um i guess meet with someone or they're thinking about someone that's passed i may get them also in the room as well i know really? <laughs> Yeah, they, right. If they may come in the room. That's and, very cool. I know. And then also I've got clients that said that they also feel like if I pull away, they actually feel someone else healing them or touching them. So it could ah. be someone that's helping me. It could be a loved one of the person. It could be the, one of the helpers that's, that I'm calling in. But yes, heat, sometimes I get a lot of energy that starts from the bottom of my feet and it goes all the way up. Um, there's a lot of energy in this room right now. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. And they'll feel very relaxed. They can either get cold. Some people don't even feel anything because I guess you, you also have to be able to accept the, uh, the healing coming in as well. Or maybe they'll, it's a, they'll get it later. or. You know, everyone is different. Everyone experiences something different. And then how do you feel? Do you, are you, are you drained by that? No, do you? No, 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 no. Actually, as I'm healing them, I also get that healing. So it's always a good thing. So the more I do, the more energized I feel, the more healthy I feel. So it's like both of us benefiting, benefiting from it. Uh, you know, this Reiki, this, and, and, and there's a few other, there's a couple of other, I mean, you, you work with Reiki and you are, you do card readings as well. I mean, you. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> card readings, I, I kind of use card readings to help me to get messages. People ask me, I don't do so much of the readings. I, you know, I do more Reiki, but yeah. I do readings for like family and I do it for friends. And if, even on my um, Facebook group, I'll pull a card every day or I'll pull three cards for the week and I'll um, post them in the group and um, it resonates with them. So it's a message that they need to hear and I just post it for myself. You know, I pull card cards for myself every day to find out how what I need to know from the angels. And I feel it's like something that you need to know at that moment, not necessarily in the future because I don't do it for the future because I'm not a fortune teller, but <laughs> it for the moment for what the angels, because if you follow the path that you're on, then this is what you need to know for the moment. Then tomorrow is a new day. So it depends on what you did to change. So then you'll get the message for tomorrow. You understand? Yeah, I know. You know, that's very important. We talked about that before in our podcast interview, and I thought that's a really incredibly important in concept because people who think that mediums and psychics are necessarily going to foretell the future, what you're giving is you're saying, this is it. This is right. This is what's going on right now. Here's the blocks. Here's the opportunities. Work with this. Work with the present. 
rather than waiting for something to happen, right? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hey, listen, darling, we've got some really cool people who are, I, I'm so thrilled. This makes me so happy. Now, here we are sitting in New Orleans. You're sitting in your studio in Staten Island, and we have some amazing people watching. We have Margaret Zayden, who is here from Australia. Thank you so much. We have Diana Parker, who's watching from Glasgow, from Scotland. I mean, we have, oh, my goodness, what a name. Uh, shit. Shiva Disha, Shiva Dishalardi, uh, Kizer, who's watching from England, and oh, Diana Parker. Um, Diana is interested in finding out from you what which angel family members may be watching over her. I believe that that's the context of the question. I don't know if, you, if that's something that you could answer at this moment. Maybe what she needs to do, Diana, get in touch with Ivana. Yes. Get in touch with Ivana. I mean, she's definitely open and available to help you to make that connection, right? I yeah. mean, you're all about that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she, we, we, I think because we're not going to be doing like readings per se at this very moment, what we really want to do is take, um, take a real wonderful look at this extraordinary person who's in front of us and who has created these beautiful prayers and is doing this beautiful work and leading and, 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 and 5,000 people like, you know, like, wow, what's today going to be, you know, I mean, I know it's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of laying it on thick, but you really do that, Ivana. I've noticed that. It's really, really, really beautiful. Thank you. you know? It's really beautiful. Is oh. there something, sweetie, we've yeah. got um, a couple more minutes. Is there okay. something that you thought of that you really want to express that is at the end of this particular yeah. chat we're having? Um, I just want to, I want to say that I feel grateful I feel blessed that I was able to be a part of this. Um, and I don't know, that's it really. I mean, I, I'm ha I love doing what I do. Um, I am happy doing what I do. I'm happy taking, you know, answering questions, doing the postings. Um, it's been for the last five years. So, I mean, I may not post as much as I would like to. And of course my members, understand that I do have to live my life as well. There's so many different things. What? <laughs> How many boys do you have? Two? Have three. <laughs> three boys, yeah. And one is still little, so he needs me, you know? The other two are big. But the yeah. one is my little man, so. And actually, today I have to call out, today is my son, Joe. My middle one is birthday. May Yay. birthday. So Happy birthday, Joe. For more free angel prayers, simply enable my angel prayer on your Alexa. If you don't have an Alexa device, no worries. You can go to myangelprayer.com for easy peasy directions on uploading Alexa and my angel prayer onto your smartphone. My angel prayer. It takes less than a minute to shift your entire day.